Such a pleasure to meet you. Um, Very kind of you. Big fan for, I mean, Night Court. Such a iconic show. How is, so now you're, you're Alex in 2042. What, how, how's 2042 like? You know, it seems like it's clean. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of sickness. Cars drive themselves completely. Even my 1967 Cadillac I had converted to a fully autonomous automobile. We're learning more about what Alex has invented that has made him a billionaire. And as the stories go along, we'll discover more about the future, I'm sure. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Um, that's what I'm curious about, too, because I watched the trailer. It's hilarious, but you kind of see him do these wacky inventions. So I'm, it's going to be interesting to see what inventions kind of take him to that success. Yeah, I'll be interested in knowing that, too. That too yes. I'm glad to see that Corky still exists. Um, it does? Yes, that was very comforting me as someone who's grown up in Los Angeles, that yes. the diners are still here. It's still here. I noticed Johnny's is in really bad shape, though, in Fairfax. Because oh, yeah. of what's being built. I guess that's a train station that's being built right across the right street across from the street. it. Yeah. Right. No, it is. I drive by there often. Yeah, I'm like I've been by there in a long time. I used to live in Park La Brea years and years oh, ago so right when I first started yeah. making money, and yeah. so I love that neighborhood. Yeah. Obviously, everything changes. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah, it is kind of. They used it for a while, I know, for the Bernie Sanders campaign, and now it's. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, for years there. It was a movie set too. I mean, yeah. Tarantino used yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, something we, will. We built Corky's. At Warner Brothers, an exact duplicate on the That's stage. That's what Bobby said, which I didn't realize. I thought you were just shooting there, but that makes sense that they would rebuild it. On yeah, the we did. Which is great. Can you tell us a little about? Um, so you're in the stage of life that you're playing, Alex. You're kind of you're an inventor, but also kind of reinventing your life at the later stage of your life. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that, Alex? Well, he's reached a point where there really isn't any necessity for him to provide himself with a living or to prove that he was capable of doing what he said he was going to do. They're, they're not challenges in that respect. How am I going to make it? I mean, he's made it so far beyond probably what he even ever fasten, uh, fantasized about. So now, in, that, you know, in a way, it's just as big a challenge at 65 to think, all right, well, particularly in 2042, I might have another 40 years of life. So what do I do now? I'm not going to sit around. So far, we haven't seen him. He doesn't possess enormous toys. He doesn't have jets or boats that we've seen. So he doesn't sort of spend his time just luxuriating around the world. So I don't know. The biggest thing about him is that he's discovered a past love. And so his goal is to try and reignite that. And hopefully for a long time, there will be comedy hurdles in the way of that occurring. Yes. That would make for a good, <laughs> good show. <laughs> right, because once they, if they do wind up together, I call it the Sam and Diane complex. Of, oh, definitely. Then what do you do? Yeah, exactly. So hopefully they'll have to fight. He'll have to continue to pursue and maybe make it a little farther and a little farther, but never actually make it all the way. And then what else goes on in his life, we'll find out. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing this. Um, big fan for a long time. I think you're an amazing actor. And Very I'm kind of you. I'm so glad to see you along here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.